when once he's gotten thoroughly finished with making fun of poor Pat, then he goes on to talking about his dad and that he had an opportunity on one of the uh, holidays to um, go with his father to South Africa. And he talks about the fact that in South Africa, he was going to get to meet the Spice Girls and who do you think? Nelson Mandela. And um, it was part of a public relations campaign for his dad who was getting some real bad press following the death of Diana because everyone says it was like, if it hadn't been for you, Charles, she'd still be alive. And if you hadn't thrown her out, she wouldn't be with Dodie. And if she'd been with Dodie, she wouldn't have been in the car crash. Mm -hmm. So everyone said, you know, Prince Charles, it's your fault. So he went to the only person he could think of who would be helpful to the family, and that was Nelson Mandela, and being seen with him. Also the Spice Girls. I mean, talk about some polar opposites. He's like, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I hit every single group of people who could possibly be looking at me. Anyway, um, so they go, and as he's talking about, he says that he's really looking forward to spending some time with his dad because his dad has been checked out lately. Says the boy who is waiting for his mother to pop out of the shadows. I mean, again, it's, it's so weird to me how Harry will literally call something out about somebody while he's doing it actively in the moment as you're reading. It's like, Pat had no empathy, stupid Pat dumb back <laughs> and then over here you know dad was so checked out dumb dad and his checked out checked outness also where's mummy when's she coming back out of hiding it's like you know what why don't you just leave people alone then he says um he's just really on this whole jag about how like his dad was just just a dud his dad was just such a dud like why in the world wouldn't he just do the things he should do for, like a dad should? And, you know, he, he, he writes this whole thing about how um, he's excited to go spend some time with his dad because he'd never really gotten enough of his father and that this is a time in which maybe they can bond. Maybe he can finally get what he's always wanted because so far this has been his experience. He writes, not that Pa hadn't always been checked out. He'd always given an air of being not quite really ready for parenthood. The responsibilities, the patience, the time. Even he, though a proud man, would have admitted as much. But single parenthood? Pa was never made for that. To be fair, he tried. Evenings I'd shout downstairs, Going to bed, Pa! And he'd always shout back cheerfully, I'll be there shortly, darling boy. And true to his word, minutes later he'd be sitting on the edge of my bed. He never forgot that I didn't like the dark. So he gently tickled my face until I fell asleep. I have the fondest memories of his hands on my cheeks, my forehead, and then waking to find him gone, magically, the door always considerately left open a crack. And you're like, oh, what a tender moment. Then he goes in. Other than those fleeting moments, however, Pa and I mostly coexisted. He had trouble communicating, trouble listening, trouble being intimate face to face. On occasion, after a long multi-course dinner, I'd walk upstairs and find a letter on my pillow. The letter would say how proud he was of me for something I'd done or accomplished. I'd smile, place it under my pillow, but also wonder why he hadn't said this moments ago while seated directly across from me. He said it, didn't he? He wrote it in a letter. Like, why, does, why is Harry so set on punishing people for who they are. He wants everyone to have all kinds of empathy and sympathy for who he is as a human being and all his flaws and shortcomings. Everybody better have time for that. But his dad, how dare he sit down and write a letter when he could have said it at the dinner table? How dare he tell me that he's proud of me in a letter that I can keep for the rest of my life instead of saying it in a fleeting moment over at supper? What in the world's the matter with a person like that? Why can't he just be like a regular dad who pats me on the back and says something nice to my face that I'll forget five minutes later? How dare he write it down in a letter? How dare he? He doesn't want to be happy. That's what comes out in this book. He does not want to be happy. He wants to be mad. He wants to be frustrated. He wants to see everything as a slight against him. He's a victim. He's a victim. He's a victim. And it's just, it's just, shocking to me that anyone would choose to live their life so angrily. Then he goes on some more. He says that he and Pa go to South Africa 
And, you know, the whole thing was lame with the Spice Girls. Who wanted to be with them? Their weird shoes and their, you know, rabid desire to be in front of the camera. What a bunch of losers. And it's like, you're going to try to tell me that a 13-year-old at that time would have been stoked to be standing with the Spice Girls? Oh, please.